So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get up and running using the processing um, programming platform that is free to download. You just go to processing.org forward slash download, choose your operating system. Once the download is uh, complete, you double click on it and just follow the instructions for installation. It's pretty straightforward though. Um, and then once you, uh, you, know, you open up processing after it's been installed, uh, you'll go file new and uh, when you do that, then you get a sketch that pops up like this. And it comes with this default name. I recommend you um, save over top of that. So you can do a file save as um, and uh, give it a name that makes sense for you. I've already created this one called basics. And just so you know, whenever you create a sketch, um, by default, mine is saved in a processing folder in my documents. And you can see that it actually creates a folder called basics. And um, there's a .pde file, that's a processing file type that is in that folder. Um, so let's talk about, you know, getting started programming. There's kind of, I'm going to show you kind of the uh, minimal um, sketch uh, that, you know, the minimal amount of things. You need two methods that are basically standard in every processing um, sketch. And so basically up top here, you would have your imports and variables. We'll make a variable named num that's equal to zero. Um, and then you would have a void setup. This is a standard kind of built-in uh, function in uh, processing. And this, you can do all kinds of things, initialize variables in here, but one of the things that you always see is um, this size method. Again, another built-in function that allows you to determine the size of the screen. So when we run processing, uh, you'll see in momentarily a screen will pop up and this controls the size of that screen. Um, the other built called draw, and this um, actually is a, you know, is a cool method that is, if you were doing this in straight Java, there would be a lot of work to get a method that would function similar to this. They've abstracted a lot of that out um, and made it a lot easier. So this method, I think by default, gets called 15 times per second. And you can do some interesting things as far as actually drawing things to the screen. Uh, typically, your first line in here is a background. And um, you can give that a fill value uh, we'll go with zero so that it's a black background and then i'll show you you can actually use fill and we'll make white um, so whatever object i kind of put in here next will have that um, fill value and actually everyone every object after that until i determine a um, and declare another fill value so you'll see like if i put text in here and say hello world um, I actually have to uh, declare the um, X and Y values there. So I'll do 20 by 30. And so um, I just hit Command S there, save, Control S. Um, file save works as well. And you hit the play button and it pops up. There's my 600 by 400 screen and there's my hello world. Um, and then you, could, you can either hit that X or you can hit stop here to get out of the program. Um, and just, just to show you a couple other built-in functions that uh, processing has that you can draw shapes and you know this was actually really made for um, artists to draw and create animations on on the screen and so they have these built-in functions that like this one for rect will draw a rectangle um, and I'm just gonna say 20 by 200 or my X and Y starting position and we'll draw a square that's 100 by 100 and semicolon there and so that's going to be white unless i change the fill and i will i'll change the fill and i'll show you that you can actually give the fill three parameters and so rgb um, my r is going to be 255 and the g and the b are zero so this should be a red rectangle a red square and there we go um, so you can play it without actually, I didn't even save it that time, but that's okay. It will uh, still take effect, but I do recommend save often. Um, and, you know, then I have this, oh, you can also, 
use system dot out in here just like you do in standard Java and print things to the console if you want to um, so uh, this is going to print a lot because uh, that's getting called 15 times a second so you see a bunch of zeros down there right um, so that this down here is your console uh, so you can use that for testing out different things and printing things to the console um, but you saw that you can also print to the uh, graphic interface as well um, so if I wanted this to move maybe I'll use that num variable we created and I'll increment that num variable and then run and you got some basic animation moving across the screen here so that's it i don't want to hit you too much just getting started with processing um, their website is fantastic tons of tutorials and examples um, that you would probably find helpful thanks